Buonasera Presidente Biden. Presidente. Good evening, Mr. Pre no, President uh, Biden. President. Here we are, President. Presi uh, President Biden. Qui. Here. Yes, yes. Good evening. Buonasera. As yes. Eh? I said to the President of Israel, sì. Mikhail Gorbachev. No, no, non è Gorbachev, non è Gorbachev il Presidente dell'Israele, no, no. Sorry, Michael Jordan. <laughs> No, 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 no. no. To the moon. Okay, this is uh, an Italian TV show making fun of President Biden. Um, there are others. Here's one from Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much. Today, we're going to talk about the crisis in Spain. Yeah, we're going to talk about the crisis in Africa. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, Russia. And I want to talk about the uh, president of Russia, uh, Putin. Yeah, Putin. Putin, listen to me. I have very important message to you. The, the message is... So you get the idea. Uh, a lot of uh, countries making fun of Biden. And here is the end of the Italian one. No. You pull out some briefcase no. with the uh, the nuclear button. I guess that's supposed to be. To take the pills. No, but not the pills. No, not the pills. Not the nurse. He forgot to take the pills. Boom. So there you go. A lot of other countries are uh, making fun, and uh, take it away, Doobie. Hey, folks, grab the popcorn. It's the news. I'm Doobie the intern. That's Sterling. He needs a haircut. You're watching the news. F the news. So what do we got on the uh, docket today, Doobie? Well, uh, Shane Dulles was the uh, host of Saturday Night Live last night. Pretty raucous. Uh, looked a little nervous, but hey, who wouldn't be? Uh, imagine standing up in the liberal central of the world and uh, trying to be funny. Well, he did. He did pretty good. Uh, I like the part where he said uh, him and his mom were best friends until he knows the exact time. And that was, uh, wait, what? Oh, he has a joke. Uh, his mom asked him, when did we stop becoming best friends? And he said he knows the exact time. What time is that? Oh, uh, when he started stroking the monkey. Oh, okay. I, that's, that's funny, yeah. He said something about, like, I used to always want my mom to be around and make cookies, and then I just wanted to get the fuck out of the house because I had to do some business. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's true. That's why it's funny, right? Yeah, a lot of people are bashing him. Um uh, you know, it's a liberal media, folks, and uh, he's a white male. So if you're a white male in this world, you're going to get some shit for it. Um, it's not our fault. We're born white. I'm white. I got 23% Italian in me. I got 6% Negro. Wait, did you say Negro? Yeah, African American. And I got a lot of Irish and Dutch. So you, you got Irish, Dutch, and Negro. Yeah, an Italian. What did I tell you? I like the United Nations, dude. I'm Heinz 57. That's why I drink a lot, because I got the Irish in me. All right. This is the news, and we're just talking a bunch of shit because we're bored. We got nothing better to do. We do this for ourselves. We don't do this for you. Nobody watches this shit anyway. This is an homage to who? Oh, it's Phil Henry, dude. All right. Uh, Cal, can we get some kind of music going or something, or can we play something that has got Shane Gillis in it for hosting Saturday Night Live last night? And no boss, uh, we can't uh, do it as Shane Gillis. It's got the copyright on NBC. We can only watch it on our own personal thing, and we can only report it for ourselves. So we can only report it. We can't play it because we'll get a copyright. Yes, and if you post any more Joe Rogan clip, you're going to get your ass handed to you. Why don't you do something original yourself? You post clip of Joe Rogan. You post clip of Theo Vaughn. Why don't you do your own shit? All right. Calm down there, fucking dweebo. Are you an illegal? Do we got to check his green card, doobie? Yeah, Cal, give me see your green card, dude. You're here on a work permit, right? A work release? Yeah, very funny. I'll kill both of you motherfuckers. I'll take over. All right. Take it easy. So you're drinking, and what's he doing? Oh, he's doing Xanax. No, he's not doing Xanax. He's, he's all wound up. Oh, no, what's the opposite? Molly. Hey, doobie, why don't you shut up, man? I got a deal on the Mali that's neither here nor there. Come up from the border through the Darien Gap. Wait, you know somebody that came up through the Darien Gap? 
Yes, you a jerk face. I have a lot of uh, money I got to make on the side. How do you think I can do this for free all day long? Oh, this this bit's gone to shit. You haven't even thought this out, did you? No, I don't think any of this out. I just kind of do it off the top of my head. Every one of these stupid things. But um, Shane Gillis is uh, was the host. That was pretty funny. I liked the... Uh, there's one called The Floor, which was kind of dumb. Uh, where... Uh, it's interesting that like they'd show black leaders and, and, and Shane would know them. And then the black lady, they'd show them like white art and she, and she wouldn't know it. Um, the race, the racism thing. It's like, uh, it's crazy how divided we are for race and how, um, how people are perceived on uh, through this liberal uh, telescope in the media. Uh, if you're a white male, they automatically assume you're like either pro Trump or you're gay. Um, and if you're gay, you, you, they automatically assume you have to be a Biden supporter. Um, there's stereotypes involved. We're basically, if that were the case and if that were true, which it is not, it would be, we'd have, we'd have a cookie cutter society. We'd be literally walking, talking stereotypes. If you're gay to the left, um, if you uh, like football to the right, uh, if you're gay and uh, you're for pro choice for women, uh, move to the left. If you're uh, pro choice and you like football, where do you go? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, you got. I, I like football, and if a woman wants to do what a woman has got to do, what's that got to do with me? Well, that's just the thing. Uh, the abortion thing's ridiculous. If you're, you could be pro-choice and still, uh, let's say, like Trump, or you could be pro-life and and, uh, and like Biden, right? Yeah, maybe. There's not much life left in him. All right. Um. So this is the news. This is F the news. We're talking about Shane Gillis hosting SNL. Um, we're just doing this off the top of our head because we don't really give a fuck. And this isn't really the news, is it, Doobie? Nope, you're doing this voice right now. All right, so I looked up this guy. Kevin Dalek did one of these articles for uh, Shane Gillis. And uh, it's a liberal news. And uh, if people have you pegged as a certain political party, which they shouldn't, but people do try to do that, it's a game. So people will come up to me and say, Jim. Oh, I thought your name was Sterling. Well, the character on the show is Sterling, all right? My name's Jim. I write books. But people come up and go, you write books, Jim. Oh, man. How, isn't that Trump a jerk? And I'll go, as opposed to what? I mean, because uh, uh, I write books, I'm automatically supposed to not like Trump. Is that where we're at here with this conversation already? You didn't even tell me hi, and my hair looks great. Oh, you, you like uh, you like your hair combed a certain way. Oh, that's, that's, that's really interesting. You have good style. So you like Biden. I didn't say I like my hair combed. I don't know. Uh, do I like a uh, Biden? I don't know. As opposed to what? I mean, we're talking Trump. Are we trying to? We trying to decipher? You know, because I have Nikes on. What does that mean? I don't know. If you got Nikes on, you probably like basketball. Uh, what if I I'm wearing Nikes because I like uh, slave labor? No, nobody buys Nikes because they like slave labor. Well, I don't even wear Nikes. That's not the point. If you dress a certain way, let's say I'm wearing khakis with my suede pumas and a hoodie and a hat. That looks a little liberal, right? Yeah, unless you're uh, working construction. Yeah, so, I mean, it, everything's from perspective. It all depends on how you look at certain things, right? We are a multifaceted people. We can have one belief of being fiscally conservative and another belief of saying, hey, man, if a woman wants to do what a woman's got to do, whatever, man. You know, I shouldn't even have screwed her anyways in the first place. I was drinking. And that's the only reason we're in the situation that you're debating on abortion is because I had too many beers. And I slipped it to you. So now the fate of my life rests on your decision. So it's up to you. Good luck to you. And if they want to uh, have an abortion and make life easier for everybody, are we going to hell? Yeah, you're probably you're probably going to go to hell. That's, you, you actually killed a baby if you did that. All right, so nobody's perfect, right? People die all the time, right? Yeah, but I mean... Okay, so if somebody makes a virus and kills millions of people, what's worse? If, if they make a virus in a Wuhan lab and unleash it in an election year and kill a lot of the uh, Trump voters, the older people in nursing homes that like to vote for Trump, if they do that, um, should they go to jail? Well, yeah, that's murder too. Okay, so what's worse, abortion or making viruses? I don't know. We're getting pretty deep really quick. I just... Can you pass me that uh, Coors? Oh, you're not drinking Bud Light no more? No, I... Uh, um, I, well, Bud Light dropped the uh, the guy that pees uh, sitting down, right? Yeah. The, okay, so... Well, if he pees sitting down, um, 
uh, I don't really care. I just want a beer, dude. I don't care what it is. I'll drink a Modelo. I'll drink, you have Russian beer. Uh, see, that's my point. I mean, if we're making everything choices based on politics and what we've seen or not, we're too, too thin to social media. Is that right? All right, check this out, dude. I don't know what kind of bit you're trying to construct here on the top of your head. Okay, I get it. None of us fall into certain categories of everything. You can like Biden and uh, be patriotic. You can um, kneel for the national anthem and like Trump, right? I don't think anybody kneels for the national anthem. Or they, they just did that because Trump was president. You got to understand how the opposition works here. Um, the media is there to uh, to cover for, for the left. So they're going to talk shit about the right. That's just always how it's been. All right, I was thinking about this. Check it out. All right, you know how censorship's been around, right? The seven words you can't say on TV. Yeah, George Carlin, right? Yeah, so they went from that to now we're on social media. Everything you say and do is monitored. It's like we're kind of self-censoring ourselves. So we're kind of like all becoming communists. Free speech, you know, when they say, oh, you can't say that, that's considered hate speech. If you say Trump's cool, that's considered hate speech. If you say Biden's old, that's considered hate speech. So what the hell can we say that doesn't have hate in it? That's they consider hate. I don't hate anything. But I can look at Joe Biden and go, holy shit, that's the president with the nuclear codes. We're fucked. But that's considered hate speech for a lot of people. It all comes down to your personal preferences. If I said, um, if you're gay, I don't mind it, but keep your penis away from me, a gay dude might be offended to that. Tough shit. It's my behind. Keep your penis away from my behind. Oh, brother. What are we talking about? I'm saying everybody votes on their own personal taste on what they think is cool well everybody's fucking retarded everybody's dumb everybody's not educated in the ways of the world why don't you look at what's what's best for the world or the country what's best for the country open borders letting drug dealers and uh, gang members in with uh, fentanyl is that good for the country no i wouldn't think that's good for the country because eventually we'll be overrun with with warlords and uh, drug cartel members and we'll have to there'll be riots and, and war in the streets right yeah exactly so if you, if you, let's say you like uh, fentanyl, you like snorting it, so you want the borders open. So a lot of these dudes come up with the fentanyl, it, could, it knocks the price of fentanyl down. Next thing you know, you gotta, you know, there's your neighbors getting uh, sliced up by the uh, MS-13. Uh, so you're saying don't vote on your own personal, what you like, right? Yeah, I like, uh, you remember when, uh, let's say if, OJ, if you like football in 1980 and O.J. Simpson was running for Congress, You'd vote for him because you like football. A lot of people, um, oh, I like the arts. I like I like books. I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote Democrat. Well, there's a lot of people that like Trump that like books too. Are you talking about yourself? Yeah, I just I just read Demon Copperhead. Who knows what the uh, politics are for the author, but she brings up a lot of good socially economic points in that Louisiana tale. All right, so uh, yeah, it's a Cajun uh, pill popping thing. All right, so it's about. Uh, low income how, uh, living in, in the South, right? Demon Copperhead. It's a good book. It's a great book. I read it. Yeah, I know, because I'm you doing a voice right now. That's how bored you are. You're trying to be a Phil Hendry. You never will. All right. Well, the point is, you can write a book, and you can like Trump. You can uh, be a, a soldier, and you can like Biden, though it's rare. You could like uh, Rage Against the Machine and like Joe Biden. Um. Sid Vicious, or uh, what was it, Johnny Rotten? Like he's a he's a right guy. Um, the parties are kind of changing around here. Um, I used to know a lot of liberals. They hated corporations back in the day. Now the corporations run the left. The left's shooting for war. Uh, everything's fucking ass backwards. So voting for yourself, voting for yourself is is what? Well, if you just vote for personal reasons, um, people will understand. But it's just it's just ignorant. You got to look at the whole world. Do you want them taking your beef? Do you want global warming to be a thing? Do you want them to come after your cows? Give you an impossible meat burger? That's what they want to do. They want to charge you for carbon. They want to charge you your uh, river behind your house there. They're going to charge you a water river tax. And then they're going to tax the uh, pollutants in your area. And they're going to uh, monitor everything you say and do on uh, social credit scores. We don't want that, do we? No, I don't want that. I mean, who wants to do that? Well, that's what uh, they're, that's the Biden, uh, the left wants to do that. 
So the people that want to do that put in the left, the puppets. There's a lot of puppets on the right, too. It's not an R or D thing. There's puppets on the right. There's puppets on the left. And the, the, the people that want this, all those ta- more taxes for carbon, and they want us to eat impossible meat, and they want us to walk to work, and they want us to um, pay more in taxes, and they want us to take in migrants in our house so they got a place to stay. These people that want to make the country lesser and lesser, um, these are the people that own a lot of the politicians that are the ones that get that get put in there. And we're not going to talk about the virus. I don't know what we're talking about, to be honest. Uh, Shane Gill is so Sarah Live. Good job, Shane. I laughed my ass off. And we're going to stop it right there because... Uh, Yeah, I'm making this shit off the top of my head, and it's kind of stupid. Have a good day, guys. Peace in the Middle East.